Is it interacting and seeking the attention of another woman? You tell me, is it? Is there a way to win someone's love back? Yes. But if you want to do that, we'd have to do a coaching session because we would have to have a conversation. My ex tried to access the OnlyFans of two women he knew in person. He said he didn't, it cost money. Sounds like gaslighting. Sounds like gaslighting, my love. Sounds like gaslighting. Charlie, do you want to come see Mama? Oh, we got a Charlie. Hey, you guys. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. How do I get over my boyfriend? He was interacting and seeking attention from other women and lied about it. Uh, are you your boyfriend or your ex-boyfriend? Boyfriend or ex-boyfriend? Does it cost money to have that conversation? Uh, it doesn't matter what costs money, in my opinion, right? Like, uh, you're asking me, should I be with somebody who is seeking the attention of other women? And I say no. Right? You want to you wanna be with somebody who isn't seeking the attention of other women. Right. How do I get over my boyfriend? He was uh, interacting and seeking the attention of other women and lied about it. X. Um, so to get over an ex. Um, hello, Asnaz. Uh, to get over an ex, you do want to dive into Come Back Queen. This is the book that helps heal heartache. Um, if you're ready to move on, to move on if you're like wow okay <laughs> I'm not grieving you um, then you get into no more assholes and you start moving forward to finding your next relationship and finding your next partner and don't it's not you by the way like you don't have to take this personally you don't have to say to yourself I wasn't good enough that's why he's doing that it's not you it's your picking it's it's really he is who he is he is how he is right men who have integrity are men who have integrity guys who don't are guys who don't but we get with guys who don't when we don't use a no kissing for three months data rule guys i'm speaking from experience you think i didn't get into relationships with guys who cheated on me i totally did this is why i can talk about this today i've been there done that changed it um so if you want to change the sort of person that you're getting into a relationship with then no more assholes is the way to go. Hey, Chantal, I went out on first date with this guy and it went so well, but I haven't heard much. Did you text him right away? Did you text him back right after? Hey, just want to let you know, I'm still smiling. What a great, you know, just, hey, I'm still smiling. I really enjoyed character trait about him. How much you made me laugh, how smart you are, uh, how sweet you are, whatever. Um, and I really appreciate and something that he did for you. I really appreciate you paying for my drink today. Uh, and then let him know the door is open for him to step through. I'm looking forward to doing this again. Uh, the girl who rejected me, the girl I love rejected me, but I'm nothing without her. How do I move on or get her to love me back? That is a coaching session, my love. I, it's not a quickie answer. Uh, guys, just so you know, you can maybe win a coaching session on my um, <clears throat> on my Instagram page. I am doing a draw on that. I am doing a draw for coaching sessions, for a coaching session. I do a giveaway every month on my Instagram page. Hello, love. As, and so the, the, the draw is up. 
you can take part in it and we're gonna do the draw soon so go follow me on Instagram how do I get my boyfriend to open up on his feelings? He builds them up until he hits a breaking point. So this is definitely a problem for fixed session, my love. You need to create a relationship that has emotional security. Um, when there is emotional security, men are more communicative, more emotive, and they actually want to be with us more. I recently bought fixed session today. I read chapter 26. I love the insight you provide. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Uh, any advice during dating in early 20s? So, you know, there's a difference between dating for fun, dating for, you know, sexual exploration, uh, right? So here today, gone tomorrow, go out to the bars, you know, make out with somebody, never see them again. So there's a difference between that and like, I want a relationship. Like I'm ready to find somebody to build a life with. If you're ready to find somebody to build a life with, then you need to use the no kissing for three months dating rule. Otherwise, you end up with one of those guys that's like buying into OnlyFans. Um, or no, it didn't cost me any money just to talk to them, right? Like guys who are seeking the attention of other women. <clears throat> guys who don't have impulse control are guys who don't have impulse control, but you don't know who's who until you use a no kissing for three months dating rule. The ones who don't have impulse control, keep going. The ones who do have impulse control, who like you, who want the same thing as you stay and then you take a look at the ones who are staying and you're like which one is best for me so if you're dating for fun you have fun just be safe make sure you trust them uh, if you're dating for a relationship you got to get no more assholes my love <clears throat> how do you get a girl to talk respectfully to you you choose somebody who talks respectfully to you Right? You choose somebody who talks respectfully to you. So you observe and then you choose people who are respectful instead of getting into a relationship with somebody and then going, uh, hey, you're kind of disrespectful. Would you ever do a giveaway for one of your books? Um, I have, I have, uh, I did one over Christmas. Is there such thing as being too picky when looking for a girl? No, like standards are standards and you, it's totally fine to have standards. Totally fine to have standards. There's nothing wrong with that. Thank you. Yes, it's a top. It's a top. My boyfriend checks out girls in front of me and telling me he'll stop, but he doesn't. Is he, is he staring or is he looking? If he's looking, he, that's being too controlling, saying, I'm going to control your mind. And I'm gonna control. I'm gonna control your eyeballs. Um, can girls have the same lack of impulse control? Absolutely. I see it all the time. I see. I see girls, right? And listen, there's guys and there's men. There's girls and there's women. I see girls on my page all the time too, and and that's fine. Guys and girls can find each other all they want, but I am a woman, and I'm teaching women how to find men. I'm in a woman in a relationship with a man. I'm leading by example. There isn't anything I ask you to do that I haven't done myself. You're welcome. I do give freebies away. Where can I buy your books on Amazon or anywhere you buy books online? If you want an audiobook, that you're gonna get in the link tree in my bio. It's fix that shit. It is fix that shit. Ooh. Thoughts on no communication after a date. Should I reach out? Yes, 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 yes. Uh like as soon as you get home. As soon as you get home. Uh, what about your man flirting with other women in front of you because it's his personality? If you don't want that, this is not the right relationship for you. It's his personality, it's what he wants to do, and if you don't want a boyfriend who does that, you need a different boyfriend. Somebody's getting in trouble, but I can't see who it is. 
I love you. Somebody's getting in trouble, but I can't even see the gun. Work. I don't even see. I don't even see. I don't see everybody's comments, but somebody got shut down right quick. Oh, I meditated this morning using your 10 minute sound and it went so fast. So trippy, yes. Yes. What order do you recommend reading your books? So uh, there is um, a quiz. There's a which book is right for you quiz in the link tree in my bio. Once you do that quiz, it's like 20 quick questions, it's super fun, super cute. But once you're done, it's gonna list all my books in the order that you should read it in based on how you answer the questions. Uh, thoughts on long distance relationship don't fight my love oh they call someone ugly is that what happened uh -oh. meditation makes my body tingly yes that is okay how to ease anxiety in relationships because of past infidelity meditation meditation reduces uh stress fear and anxiety there is a link in the link to my bio that says meditation resources you can check that out um there's a guide there's a chart you can download um there's a video i got some tracks to get you started i make it easy this guy told me today he was interested in me the message me later is saying i'm talking to an ex so don't even bother like saying anything to him um and if he says any i, I don't know i would even like just don't bother saying anything more to him don't bother not worth the time not worth the time how long are your books they're this long one of my first kiss with the guy was underwhelming you can teach him how to kiss you ladies teach them how to kiss you what about someone begging someone to stay uh sounds like i would need more details if you want um clarity on that i would suggest getting a coaching session long distance relationship will it last i don't know but uh if you want to find out how you can help make it last you can get a coaching session guys when it comes to a situation where you know it needs to be unpacked in order to be understood if you know uh, I will always suggest a book or a coaching session a book for you to help yourself through the situation um, some of these like you know fix that shit or, or no more assholes like how do I get into the right relationship no more assholes how do I stop the fighting in my relationship fix that shit as long as you're with a generous long-term thinker um, just so you know uh, how do you connect with a man that doesn't talk that much on his level, my love? Uh, he doesn't talk much, but does he show how much he cares? Does it show in his behaviors? Get the love from his behaviors. Um, get the love from his behaviors, you guys. It's If it's not coming out the way you do it, look for it the way they do it. I did long distance for a year and it was too hard. I had to move home, can hack it, yeah. Is it possible meditation doesn't work for everyone? It's possible that people aren't tweaking it so that it works for them. But, um, you know, you, you can you can find a method to shrink your amygdala for sure. I, I It would be a very, you know, obviously, um, this, <laughs> not everybody's born with arms and legs right so we are not born exactly the same we are unique just like everybody else the fact that we are unique is actually a common identifier among us but you know it's rare that people can't find a way to shrink their amygdala the problem today is people 
haven't been taught that there are ways to shrink their amygdala. So nobody is even thinking to find ways to shrink the part of their brain that creates stress, fear, and anxiety. So you have all these people running around vomiting stress, fear, and anxiety on each other. And now you have all these relationships with conflict because nobody's shrinking their amygdala. How do you break up without hurting the other person? The only way that happens is if they are indifferent to you. And you can teach a man to be a good kisser, but you can't teach a good kisser how to be a good man. It's a hell of a lot harder. I love this woman, thank you. 20 and never dated, get no more assholes. 20 is young, 20 is young. Uh, my man was 20 when he popped his cherry. I told the guy I'm talking to my love languages for touch is low and he seems sad but said it's okay. You guys should do a quiz together so that you can actually see each other's score, like conceptualize it, make it real for him so he understands it by looking at it. Breakup sandwich, yes, the breakup sandwich is, uh, this is this is why you're great, this is why it's not working, this is why you'll be great for someone else. Does it mean something if he keeps liking other girl's picture? It means, look at me, look at me, look at me, I was here, look at me, that's what it means, right? I don't wanna be in a relationship with somebody who seeks the attention of other women. How do I get over my abusive ex? I'm so mad at myself that I stayed for four years. This is, let's, you wanna do a coaching session, my love. This is rebuilding yourself. <clears throat> How do you communicate your needs intimately without making the other person feel bad or less than? Um, I would start with fix that shit because, uh, oh, do you mean like, like, oh, okay. Um, see, sexy talk I don't do on lives. If you guys want to do, like, if you want to get advice for sexy talk, that I do on coaching sessions. How do you get a guy to speak words of affirmation? He makes excuses and has a hard time with it. My husband also has a hard time with it. Um, and so rather than trying to force him to be different than what he is, and some people do have a hard time with words of affirmation. So I'm not, I'm not gonna try and force him to be what he is. And it, it's uncomfortable to say words of affirmation because his conditioning is you are weak if you need it. Um, he's changed his mind that, you know, about you are weak if you need it, but it's still difficult for him to say those things. So instead of me telling myself, you don't love me because you don't say that, I say, I see how you love me because I look at how you express it. What do you think about dating someone who's high functioning autistic and just finding out? Uh, I assume they're just finding out because they're going to some form of therapy. Um, <clears throat> and so you can make a session, you can, you can book a session with the person they're working with and say, how am I supposed to deal with this? What should I know? Because there's different levels of autistic, right? So if somebody is diagnosing him, that person knows something about what he has and they can guide you into how to have a healthy relationship with that person. How do we get a coaching session? So you're gonna go to my bio, click on the link tree. There's a button there that says one-on-one. -on -one. Click on that, it takes you to a page. You wanna follow the instructions on the page and you book yourself in for a session, super easy. <clears throat> I do couple sessions, yes. Uh, so when I work with couples, I, I don't always work with both people. If you want couples coaching, 
then you can just come to me. If your partner doesn't want to, or you want to come sooner than they can come, then we can work on this together. Like I say, my husband has never read Fix That Shit. We haven't had a fight in five years. It takes one person to become the emotional leader in a relationship. Oh, that's so funny. He got offended because I wasn't responding when he said I'm beautiful. That's so funny. How is dating different today than 20 years ago? 20 years ago, they were seeing where it goes and kissing the right one. Now, we're kissing to see where it goes. And so a lot of us are ending with the wrong one. And we wonder why divorce rates are so high. Is staying at your boyfriend's house 24 seven for months and months the same as living with him? Uh, not technically, not technically. Like when, you know, you guys ask me when, when is the right time to move in with someone? And I say, here's, here's my rule of thumb. No kissing for three months, no melding for a full year. So for that full year, it means no coming to people one place. It's got to be two people, two housing situations, but you can sleep over at each other's 24 seven but somebody needs to keep their place. So if you still have your own place, you're not living together because you are sustaining your own living quarters even if you're sleeping over at their place 24 seven. But if it's two people, one place, then you're living together. Uh, do you do promos where you offer deals like on Valentine's Day? Uh, I, I do a giveaway every month Every month I give away a coaching session. Hey, Dr. G, Dr. G, go live, let's go live. You wanna go live? Would you like to go live, Dr. G? If you go live on your platform, I can find you and we could go split screen on mine. Do you wanna do that? I got 60 people on here. Who wants to hear me talk to a psychologist? Say, I do. A professor of psychology, no less. Six months, is it too late to adhere to the three month no kissing? Are you kissing? Have you been kissing for six months? Yes, honey bunny, it's too late. You are in. I do, I do, oh, not tonight, in my boxes. Uh, so I'm, I'm wearing, um, I'm wearing my gray sweatpants. Look at all the I do's. Look at all the I do's. Guys, go to my YouTube channel. Also go to my podcast because Dr. G and I had a conversation. He's awesome, by the way. Uh, awesome, super fun, kind of quirky like me, big nerd like me. Um, <clears throat> so do make sure that you go check out our conversation on my YouTube channel and on my podcast. I basically just put it on my YouTube channel and took the audio and put it on my podcast. So uh, the link to my YouTube channel and podcast are in the link tree in my bio. Do you agree with don't ask for it if you cannot provide it, such as communication? So the way that I say that is it's not fair to ask for anything you're not willing to do first. Did you go to school? I did and I dropped out because it was wasting my time and money. It was wasting my time and money. Uh, the link to my podcast is in the link tree in my bio. What do you do when your partner is being distant and they say it's because you're stressed from work? You understand that um, when people get stressed out, and especially men, when men get stressed out, they go into the man cave inside their heads. And the reason why they do this is because they want to deal with their emotions internally. They don't want to vomit on you. Um, and so they do go into themselves. They retreat. That's where they feel distant. They've gone away. They're right here, but they've gone away. They've gone inside. Uh, it's very normal for men to go away. Uh, <clears throat> here's the thing, if you don't react to that distance, and so this is how I design it. This is you staying steady. This is you not reacting, not changing anything, not your behavior, not being put off, not going insecure. And they go into a dip, which is them retreating away from you. If you don't follow the dip, if you stay here, the dip doesn't go as low and doesn't stay down as long. If you ride their emotional roller coaster, the dip goes down lower and it stays down longer. 
So when you feel like they've retreated, don't make it about yourself. Instead of saying, how are you going to feed me? How are you going to satisfy me? How are you going to give me the energy that I crave from you all the time? You're going to say, what am I going to give myself? And practice self-love. It's so important to practice self-love. What does this body need? We are so outwardly focused. Baby girl, do you need a glass of water? Do you need to go take a walk? Do you need to do some yoga? Do you need to bend over and touch your toes? Do you need to do some meditation to alleviate the anxiety you're feeling because he's gone into the man cave in his head? How are you going to take care of you instead of looking at him saying, how are you going to take care of me? If you understand how to take care of you, this is empowerment. If it's always up to him to take care of you, you are disempowered. So that's the question. How are you going to take care of you? I teach you how to do that and fix that shit, by the way. What do you think about boyfriends having girl best friends that they talk to multiple times a day? Are they flirting? I mean, do they talk to this girl more than they talk to you? Uh, do they give her more attention than they give you? Uh, <clears throat> is she disrespectful towards you? Do they keep the two of you in separate corners? They don't want the two of you melding? Um, if the answer was yes to all those questions, dump the motherfucker. As a man, I can confirm. Yes, indeed. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, my boyfriend buys me so many gifts but I'm dependent on my parents and I can't reciprocate he um, you know here's the thing it's not the expense it's the effort it's the thought so observe him what does he need and in a cheap way supply that to him I wish I had recorded what you're saying. I dip when I need alone time and he makes it about him. Ah. Um. Hmm. Hmm. How do I stop the father of my boys to stop accusing me? <laughs> you can find a woman like me. If you can conceive it, you can achieve it. Now you know what to look for. How do I stop the father of my boys to stop accusing me of things? He's an alcoholic. He's my ex now. So uh, fix that shit also helps you um, co-parent. It is ninja mind tricks, my love. So I always advise women who are co-parenting, get this book so that they understand how to co-parent well and not get sucked into um, the turbulence of someone else's mind and life. good i'm rereading i wish you i had recorded what you're saying i dip when i need alone time and he makes it about him um so i'm i'm trying to think of the words that you can use to reassure your partner being on the other end right how, how what can you say to help them understand um here's here's your script okay here's your script I need you to understand that absolutely everything in life is like waves on a beach and and waves will never stop but waves are not static they're dynamic they come and they go they come and they recede and energy is like that I see that in you too sometimes you give me a lot of energy sometimes you give me less energy and you notice when I'm giving you less energy and you notice when I'm giving you a lot of energy and I really want you to understand that when I'm not giving you as much energy it's not it's not to hurt you in fact i'm doing this so i don't vomit on you because i love you and i don't want to upset you i don't want to hurt you but sometimes life gets really stressful and i go into the man cave inside my head and i do this so that i can think things through and process them and come to a better place and bring a better me to you and to the relationship it's important for you to be okay during these times because if you ride my roller coaster, if you take a dip with me, I'm going to go down lower. I'm going to stay down longer. If you stay steady at the top, I'm going to 
I'm gonna not go down as low, I'm gonna come back up faster. So during those times, it's important for you to focus on you, not focus on me. So you need to know what your self-love routine is. You need to know how to go, wait a second, what do I want when you're focusing on me? You need to say, what do I want? And find a way to give yourself what you want. And sometimes people don't even focus on the little things. You should learn to focus on the little things. I want a glass of water. I want to sit and watch TV for a while. I want to take a bubble bath. I want to go for a walk. I want to do some yoga. I want to make a cup of tea. I want to call up a friend and go have a drink. You taking care of you is so important to us. When I retreat, I'm taking care of me for us. It's important for you to take care of you for us. is super depressed and just spends all his time gaming I want him to spend time with me so um does he do anything besides gaming uh to address his mental health um you know one thing that you can do is encourage him to take vitamin d 5 htp start meditating go for walks with you eat healthy whole foods if he refuses to do any of that you got to go because this isn't a healthy relationship for you. It is never a healthy thing for you to stay in a relationship with somebody who refuses to address their own mental health. No, you're not wrong in needing time to yourself. Everybody needs their own time. He chose violence today. What? How many is too many partners in life? There is no number. Smash this game console. Damn, no, no. Tips on toxic parents, you don't need to talk to them. The less exposure, the better. <clears throat> You've helped me understand so much and now I don't react to the things I used to. You were so welcome. You're so welcome. That's exactly what I do in my alone time. I just want to sit in quiet and relax and reflect. Yes. Uh, what do you consider a big age gap? Uh, so the age gap doesn't matter as long as the youngest person is 25 or older. How to deal with two different libido levels in a relationship? That's a sexy question. I only answer those in uh, one-on-one sessions, not on lives. to be on medication but he ran out doesn't have a family doctor to renew the prescription so doesn't have a family doctor why doesn't he get a family doctor why is he just you know not being proactive right um so you got to be proactive i need i need to see my partner being proactive Is it bad my ex of four years moved on so quickly after we broke up? No, you weren't the problem. No, it's not you. Yes, thank you. The top is getting rave reviews tonight. I do all the cooking and make him take vitamins. So if you are having a problem in your relationship and you would like some help gaining clarity, uh, do get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. I can't coach on a live. Is it true that the pool shrinks as we get older? Yeah, because people die. And and some people stay in their relationships. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how to bring a boring relationship back to life? Make out twice a day. Make out twice a day. Kiss your partner a minimum of five seconds at least twice a day. My boyfriend isn't into deep chats or any sort of serious conversations, but I feel like it's important. It's it's important, yes. Um, can you have them with other people? Are there other things that you have in this relationship that you don't get from other people? 
So do you can balance, right? Your partner doesn't need to be every single thing you want from people. Um, I will have longer conversations with other people than I do with my husband most of the time. Most of the time. Um, let me see. What is my... Uh, going clubbing, right? Going out, going to parties, going clubbing. I do that with other people, not with my husband. It is rare that my husband comes out to a party or goes clubbing. Like... He went clubbing a few times with me in the beginning of the relationship. I would not be able to get him out to a bar at this point. Um, so, you know, it's, but, but there's other ways that I'm so fulfilled and satisfied with this relationship. So I don't tell myself I'm dissatisfied because I don't get certain aspects from him. I balance everything out. Words of affirmation, that's my love language. I'm not upset that he doesn't give me words of affirmation because you guys give me plenty. And I take those and I fill my love bank up. And then I look at how he loves me and I go, mm, that's a whole lot of love. And I fill my love bank up. So it's okay to like open yourself up to gaining fulfilling aspects from different people. He's retreated and I step back, but I'm confused. He seems upset that I'm not as available. So stepping back, you know, well, this sounds like a coaching session. So many questions. Um, I, I, you know, I don't know if you're living together. I don't know what this means. I don't know if you're texting less. Um, you know, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the confusion is. And I would have to ask too many questions to clarify it. So if you do want to gain clarity on this, I do suggest you get a coaching session. Should I be hurt by not having the body he's usually attracted to? Does he tell you you're beautiful? Does he tell you he loves your body? Does he tell you you're okay? Or does he say you're not good enough because it's not what I like? If he says you're not good enough, dump the motherfucker. If he says you're beautiful, work on your confidence and self-esteem. I find it tends to work right now. It's been solid. That rule is interesting. It makes a lot of sense. Good, good, good. Uh, does jealousy mean that someone cares? A little bit of jealousy is okay. It's normal. It's fear of loss. Controlling. You can't talk to them. You can't wear that. No, motherfucker's got to go because he's not confident. Never be with somebody who's not confident because they vomit that insecurity as control tactics. You can't wear this. You can't have friends that are of the same gender that you are attracted to. I talk more with others than my husband. Everyone cannot give everything. Opening up is okay. Yeah. Advice for clinical PhD interview. Uh, I don't know, my love. I've never done that. I've never done that. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Is it okay if he talks to ex hookup? How is he talking to them? Is he flirting? Does he keep them around as an ego boost? In that case, not okay. Um, does he talk to them because they have things in common? I like to rock climb, they like to rock climb. Um, you know, I'm an engineer, they're an engineer. So if that's the reason why they're talking, because they, they share similar hobbies or interests and they talk about those, totally fine. Um, but if it's to keep them as an ego boost, then no, I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who seeks the attention of other women. Went on a date and he's feminine, feminine with his mannerisms, but he's affectionate and so nice. Oh, can you elaborate on why the 25 age rule? So your brain is still forming up until you're about 24, 25. So in essence, people over 25 have an adult brain, fully formed. People under 25 do not yet have a fully formed brain. I like people to be on the same level, not formed yet with not formed yet, or, not, or fully formed with fully formed. So you can be 25 and date an 85 year old, doesn't matter, fully formed and fully formed. But if you're 35 dating 24, that's unfair. Somebody's taking advantage of somebody. 
You need to make Dump the Motherfucker merch. Yes. My ex would tell me he loved my body, but he was telling other girls the same. Well, I'm glad that's an ex. Any of your books are audiobooks? Yes. Fix That Shit is an audiobook. I'm glad to see you're doing well. Thank you. So the way to get, uh, okay, um, the way to get Fix That Shit in audiobook is you're going to go to my bio, click on the link tree, and it says Fix That Shit audiobook. Click on there. Um, it's not on Audible, so you can listen to it on iTunes, or I have a couple app suggestions that you can use. Those of you who want a notification when I go live, you're going to click my little picture here. Once or twice, there's going to be a pop-up. Click the pop-up, uh, or click the bell in the pop-up. When you do that, say, I just did. Also, who wants freebies? Say freebies. Do you ever recommend dating? Uh, dating breaks, thinking of not dating for a year. Oh, you can do, I did that. Um, I took a year off dating. I didn't take a year off boys, but I took a year off dating. I just did. Yay, my loves, welcome. You're welcome. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, yes. Anybody who wants to get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, what you're gonna do is go to my bio, click on the link tree. There's a one-on-one -on -one button. It takes you to a page. You wanna follow the instructions to book yourself in for a session. I do make it easy to book yourself in for a session, you guys. Uh, like, you Pick the date, pick the time that works for you. Um, what was I saying? Do you still get the worksheets with the with audiobook? There isn't a worksheet with the audiobook. There, I don't have worksheets with um, Fix That Shit, but if you sign up for my freebies, um, then you will get uh, worksheets and a free book as well. It'll be 40 in April. <laughs> uh, together for two years, I hope it's going well. Right, so I, I did, so dating breaks. Yeah, so I did take a year off dating, um, right? I had just gotten out of a three year abusive relationship. I didn't want to get into another relationship, but I didn't want to not have fun. I didn't want to not be out there. I didn't want to not explore myself. So I did um, have fun. I had fun. I went and picked up boys and bars, brought them home, but I had one rule. I said, uh, I said, like, um, I want to take you home, but uh, you can't put it in. We're gonna, we can play, but you can't put it in. And there was only one boy I left, one boy. Um, and the funny thing is, he was like, he was super hot. He was super hot, and he totally thought because he was so hot, I'd bend my rule. No, he's like, no, but I totally want to put it in. I'm like, no, not gonna happen. He's like, okay, then I'm not gonna go with you. I'm like, okay, no problem. And I walked away walked away so uh these are my books they are all in ebook as well you can get my books on amazon or anywhere you buy books online the only one that's an audiobook though is fix that shit i like your videos thank you fix that shit uh that one you do get through the link to my bio it's not on audible because audible wants to take 70 percent and i'm like no no that's not okay. That is not okay. You are not my pimp. Uh, timing to say I love you after six months dating. Should you know? You should start knowing. Uh, we're in Canada. I'm in Ontario, but my practice is worldwide. So anybody who wants to get a coaching session, I do that through Zoom. I have people from Denmark to, I love saying this, I have people from Denmark to New Zealand. Good info, thank you. How do you know you're healthy for dating? Like what if the problem is you and not your partner? Um, so you, here's the thing, you don't have to be perfect to get into a relationship, but if you feel like you have shit to work on, get a coaching session. I don't know what you feel your issue is. I can't get into that over a live. I do need to unpack you and find out what you think is getting in your way 
and how you need to start working on self-love and that I can get you elevating, right? Why do you think divorce rates are so high? Because people are kissing to see where it goes. They have this honeymoon period and then they go, that was so good, we were so good. If I just keep working harder at it, then you know we're gonna be good like that again. Not understanding that it was just a chemical reaction that fogged your brain and made you miss the red flags, but they keep chasing that high. And so they keep investing more time trying to make it as good and then they get two years in and then they're like, we've been together for two years, we should get engaged now. And the guy's like, okay, because um, he's, he's getting some. So, and paying half the bills and it's, it's semi-functional. And so then they get engaged and then she's like, it's been, it's been a year, two years, three years, and now it's time for us to get married and my parents are gonna pay part of it and this is the next step that we should be doing. And if you don't, I'm gonna leave. It's like, okay so then they get married because she wants her party and wants to wear the pretty dress and then they get married and then another four years goes by and it hasn't gotten any better since that honeymoon period that happened in the first three months and then she's like i'm not happy and you're not changing enough and now i'm gonna leave you so does this sound familiar to anyone does this make sense to anyone what do you guys think of that what do you guys think of what i just said I just ordered two books. Can't wait to read them. Uh, why was your rule to not penetrate? Because I didn't want to do girlfriend things with somebody who wasn't my boyfriend, but I still wanted to have fun. Mm, somebody said my parents. Uh, that's the typical curse. Hell yeah, agree, hundred percent, thousand percent accurate. So true, makes total sense. Sad but honest, perfect sense. I've done just this, makes total sense. So true, been there. True. Oh, you guys, if issues aren't fixed prior to marriage, marriage won't fix it. True. Yes, 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 yes. Sociologist. <laughs> Sociologist. People making decisions based on brain crack. Yeah. Marriage isn't just a wedding or a dress. It's not. It's not. But I've seen I've seen enough women headed towards marriage because all they're seeing is the day. I want the day. I've been dreaming about the day and you're not perfect, but that's okay because once I have the date and we're married, everything's gonna get better, right? How will you know if it's best to stick around after the honeymoon period? Here's the thing, it's better to see if they stick around before kissing um, until you know the commitment is there, right? So use the no kissing for three months dating rule so that, here's the thing, when you meet each other when you are new to each other, more often than not, and more often, and I say more often than not because I wasn't initially attracted to my husband. And so it took time for me to become attracted to him. And once I did, who was I ever in? But when you meet each other and there's a buzz, this is your body's chemistry reacting to each other. It is chemistry. It is, it is your biological creatures designed to procreate. Your emotions, every sensation inside your body is a chemical reaction. It is chemistry. Is it brought about by knowledge? Fuck no. This is a stranger. It's brought about by chemicals. That's it. This is mother nature saying, make us some babies. Make us some babies. Keep us going. And so the two of you come together and you feel something. That buzz is mother nature enhancing your chemicals, trying to drive you to procreation. Now, you get a high whether or not you kissed, but if you add phenylethylamine, the kiss chemical, everybody's lips secretes a chemical that doesn't do anything to them until they come in contact with another set of lips. 
when you create that chemical, add it to the buzz already created, you went from snorting cocaine to injecting heroin. Now you are out of your mind. Now the honeymoon phase has gone from exciting but observational to fuck this shit, I'm in. And that's exactly what happens. You are in. The red flag alert, shut down. You say no to other people. If somebody else comes along and says, can I take you out? You say, no, I'm seeing somebody. Blinders on, blinders on, saying no to other potential suitors, red flag alert, shut down. Your brain says, I know everything I need to know. You, okay. And you're just going along with this for those three months. That is the honeymoon period that is blinding you to the fact that you're not actually compatible. And so this is why we have so many divorces. If you use a no kissing for the almost dating role, you can still have that initial excitement. By the way, if you don't and he's good enough, good enough is good enough. Give it three months, see if you don't develop a slow burn. Slow burns are amazing. Me and my husband are a slow burn. We are 15 years strong. Do you know the last time I kissed him? La commented for longer than five seconds? Uh, seven o'clock tonight. So rose-colored glasses, exactly. It's not even glasses, it's goggles that are like painted over so you don't actually see anything. So when you use a no kissing for three months dating rule, you don't blind yourself with the phenylethylamine. And so you will see the red flags. It's no kissing, no sleepovers. So you have a day and it's 98% it's great, 2% red flags but you kind of miss the red flags because hey, oh, more greatness came after it. But no sleepovers means at the end of the day, you go home and you mull over the day, you think about it, and then that red flag pops up and you go, wait a second, I'm gonna take a look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about this a little bit longer. And this is how you get into a relationship with foresight. Instead of having 2020 hindsight, eight years down the road going, Maybe I shouldn't have married that one. How do you tell someone you want to wait three months for a kiss? You say, hey, I like you. I want to see where this goes, but I don't kiss anybody I don't know because I don't want to start a relationship with somebody I don't know yet. And I'm looking for a long-term relationship. I'm not just looking for fun times. So I'm using a no kissing for three months dating role because I want to make sure that I choose the right partner for a long-term relationship and you get no more assholes, you get the script, you get the science, you get the how, you need to do this in a way that doesn't make them feel rejected. Ba -da -ba -ba. Mystic Spider-Man. Da -da 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 -da. I love you, you're so welcome. Guys, guess what I did today? I moved some furniture into a new office. Don't get rose colored glasses anymore. I might be broken. Maybe you're just smart. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start. It's nine to five, Monday to Friday. Who's gonna come on when I go live in the daytime? Uh, who, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. I'm gonna give you guys another chance to do this. Those of you who have um, those of you who do have the notification, like have pressed the bell when I go live, also go into your settings and make sure your notifications are turned on. You can fine tune them so they don't like spam you so much. Okay, so for those of you who want a notification when I go live, you're gonna press my little picture here once or twice. There's a pop-up that's gonna come up. Hello, Virginia. In the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that. Say, I did, I just did. Say, I just did, so I know that you guys popped on. I do, I'm free tomorrow. So now what I'm gonna be doing is popping onto my lives in between coaching, coaching sessions from my new office, Monday to Friday between nine and 5 p.m. I just did. It's actually gonna be more like between like 10.30, 10, 10.30 and 5 p.m. cause I'm not setting an alarm clock. I, fuck that guys. I make my own hours, I love my job. I make my own hours. Um, I will get up, you know, when I get up or get up at 9 a.m., you know, like I'll set my alarm every morning for 9 a.m., make sure I'm up by 9 a.m. I'm going to get up, going to make breakfast, um, have my coffee, 
make sure my husband has food to eat during the day and then I'm gonna pack up go to the office take my little choo-choo Charlie with me um, and uh, and in between coaching sessions I'll pop on and I'll do some quick lives with you guys the upload speed is nine megabits per second <gasps> It's going to be so good. It's not going to be skipping. It's going to be beautiful, you guys. Uh, I just switched my notifications on in my settings. I love it. Who else has turned their notifications on in their settings? Thank you. Thank you. I just did. Welcome, I just is. Welcome, I just is. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the love train. Woo, woo. <clears throat> you are so dainty and polite but i can't help but laugh when you cast motherfuckers the best yes uh do you think late teens can actually experience love yes of course babies can experience love you guys like love is universal and love happens the moment you are born the moment you are born a baby doesn't need to be taught how to laugh a baby doesn't need to be taught how to love We are born with fundamental knowledge. I, me, me, I did, I just did, yes, I did. I love it, already had on, love, love, love. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, we are having fun. Who's having fun? Say I am. I am, my relationship is good, but I can't wait to make it great. Yes, we we'll fix that shit. Oh, I love you. We forget how to love as we get older. People try and take that away. We don't forget, it just gets stored. It just gets stored inside. My boyfriend saw fix that shit on my desk and now is acting weird and rude. Detach your emotional roller coaster from his ride. Keep your focus on yourself. Maintain your peace. Maintain your elevation. Remember, focus on you, baby girl. Be the emotional leader by leading yourself emotionally. A generous long-term thinker who loves you will follow your lead. I am. Yes, I love my I am's. I love it. I love it, you guys. I eat this shit up. I do. This is so good. It's so fun. This is so rewarding. Oh, so here's why I started doing this, you guys. Here's why I made this into a business. I love an emotional reward. And when I helped people and they took my advice and they rolled it into their lives and gained benefits because of it, I felt so good. And my friend Taylor, she's one of my oldest friends. We've been friends for about 15 years now. Uh, I have said to her so many times, you are so emotionally rewarding because she is one of those people who listens to me. I remember one time, guys, you wanna hear story time? Who wants to hear a story time? Who wants to hear a story time? Who wants to hear a story time? I got a couple stories about Taylor. I got the story about the bracelet, and I got the story about the story that I'm about to tell you. Story time! Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, I used to be a stripper. Some of you guys know this, some of you guys are gonna go, oh, right now. But I used to be a stripper. Taylor is a girl that I used to work with. And when I would start working at a new club, I always treated it like the lion's den. How do you enter? Oh, you helped me grow in my marriage. I love you. Thank you for sharing that. When you enter a new environment, you are entering the lion's den. You come in softly. You don't make big noises. You don't make loud gestures. Um, Chantal and Taylor Queens, yes. And so I pretty much spent a year working in this club not really talking to any of the girls because I wasn't I wasn't going to impose my place. I was going to be given my place, right? And so I would go in, I would do my shifts, I would read, you know, when when things weren't hopping in the club. I always had a book with me and I would read in the dressing room. And it was one of those places where I I'm, I'm really happy the managers weren't like always shoving me out into the club and saying go look pretty out there. So I could spend like enough time reading in there. And you know, like eight o'clock every night, I'm in there doing my makeup with the other girls who are starting their night shift. And this girl, Taylor, always came in on her phone fighting with her boyfriend every single night, guys, without fail, every single night fighting with her boyfriend on the phone. And one day I took her aside and I said, 
I don't know if you realize this, but every single night when you come in, you are fighting with your boyfriend. And this isn't good for you. This takes away from your ability to make money because you don't start your night in a good mood. And she was like, I never realized this. And she started becoming more conscious of her behaviors with him. And she realized how much she was fighting with him. And she broke up with him shortly after that. Then she started a new relationship. And uh, like when this relationship was new, her and I had started hanging out. And so I was getting to know them simultaneously. And he had just left a marriage. And, and it was kind of interesting because he, he was married, but they had an open marriage. And then he met Taylor and then he was like, ooh, you. And so he left his marriage and him and Taylor started a relationship. And Taylor was insecure about his ex-wife because his ex-wife was like trying to pull him back. And her and I would have a lot of talks about it and I would give her perspective. And she would come in and she would be upset about something and she would vent and then I would talk to her and I would give her the new perspective and she would feel a lot more calm. And this was a pattern. And one night she came in and she vented and when she was done venting, she did that. She went, and the thing is, you got to understand, she was angry, venting, 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 venting. And then she went, okay, tell me how I'm wrong. And in an accepting way, right? Okay, tell me how I'm wrong. In such an accepting way. And I love her to death because when I gave her perspective, she took it and she understood it. And it always changed things. And this is what I saw her do all the time. Change, 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 change. It was so beautiful to watch. And, and she was the first person that I said, I love having these conversations with you because you are emotionally rewarding. Because she would say like, I'm so sorry that I come to you so much. And you, like, I feel bad. You help me so much. I'm like, no, you don't understand. You are emotionally rewarding. I don't need anything from you, but your change. You like the hat? So yeah, do you guys want to hear the bracelet story? I'm going to tell you the bracelet story. Taylor changed me. This person that you see, the makeup, the clothes, the sparkle, there's always something that sparkles on me. This is her. She changed me in a fundamental way as much as I changed her. So I used to be super dull, super drab. And, you know, when I went out to the club, it was like comfortable clothes, a little bit sexy, but comfortable, always comfortable shoes. And when I'm saying comfortable shoes, I mean, you know, the old shoes, the old shoes that feel like slippers. Uh, so guys, I don't do sexy talk on here. If you actually want to ask that, come do a one-on-one -on -one with me. I will block you if you keep spamming that. Um, I will block you if you keep spamming that, just so you know. Uh, so I went out with Taylor for the first time. And I was dressed the way I was dressed. Um, minimal makeup, comfy clothes, seriously guys, fanny pack, drab colors, the leather shoes, the brown leather shoes that felt like slippers, flat shoes, right? And here we are in the club and we're dancing, we're having a good time. And at one point, and she's, I mean, seriously, this girl was like floof and sparkle, I mean, when you go to the to the after hours, when you go to the raves and you see the floof and sparkle girls, she was a floof and sparkle. And here we are, me, super job, her floof and sparkle. And we're in the club, we're having a good time. And at one point she takes my hand and she takes this, this bracelet, it's this wide, all rhinestone. She take, I want, I want to see Taylor. I should bring Taylor on a live sometime. She takes the bracelet off her wrist. She puts it on mine and she holds on to my hand. And she says, so she's holding on to my hand with this hand. And she goes, you need to wear this. And she points to the bracelet. She said, because you need to sparkle as much on the inside. And she points to my heart as you do on the out, or you need to sparkle as much on the outside as you do on the inside. And my brain blew. No one had ever said anything like this to me before. No one had ever dressed me up before. No one had ever come to me and said, you need to show you. You need to be okay with being pretty. 
because you are beautiful. And I just went, kapow. And after that, every single time I pick something out for myself, it had sparkle to it. It it was it was it was beautiful. It was loud. It was bold. She changed me. I am this today because of that woman. I love my tailor. I know. We all uh, we all need tailors, you guys. We all need tailors. Reminds me of the movie with J Lo. Can't remember the name of it. She really said, Queen, yeah. I miss my after hours. I know you guys, so much fun. Are you are you accepting clients? Yes. If you guys want to get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, go to my bio, click on the link tree. There's a one-on-one -on -one button. It takes you to a page. Follow the instructions. Book yourself in. Uh oh my god, wear a fanny pack for the next live. Um, I need to show you guys the fanny pack she gave me. So I had like one of those, you know, like the fake leather fanny packs. Um, it was not coincidence that you met Taylor. Very true. The universe sent her. The universe sent me every situation in my life to make me a better coach for you. Taylor was an angel, yes, yeah, sent from heaven to set you on your life's mission to help fix relationships. I 100% agree. Um, by the way, that man that she got into a relationship with, she is still with today. They toasted, like, I was there at their 10th anniversary. They brought me into a room, just the three of us and we all had a shot together. They said, we wanna do this with you. We wanna to toast with you because because of you, we are still together. And I was like, oh, damn. Yeah, it's a bedazzled fanny pack. It totally is. She, she, gave, she gave me a fanny pack. It's like a guest fanny pack. And of course, guest is like sparkles, right? She gave me a guest fanny pack. Her, her love language is gifts. She gave me a guest fanny pack um, so that I could sparkle more while wearing a fanny pack because she knows I'm when I go to the after hours I'm not carrying a purse yes yeah, super cute do you ever talk about finances and how to communicate books recommendations um, how to communicate finances I can help you with that on a one-on-one -on -one. Um, I don't I don't know what book to recommend I did read the millionaire next door and it really did change my perspective on money Best dog trainers had the most challenging dogs. Yes, 100%. 100%. Uh, how do you know so much about everything to do with relationships? Like literally any questions. Um, because the universe designed me. Like it just gave me every circumstance that, not every single one, obviously. But it really did give me a lot of experience, you guys. Um, like the commonalities that we all experience. You know, parents who weren't great role models, um, mothers who were abusive, dads who were, you know, kind of not so present, um, che picking cheating boyfriends, picking abusive boyfriends, needing to rebuild my own self-esteem, um, you know, just finally being in the right relationship, but doing all the toxic things that was driving us apart. Thank you for that. I'm going to let myself, my ex know she got a sparkle outside too. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. How to fix a 15-year marriage when you feel uh, sexually disconnected? So sexy questions I don't do on lives. I do those on one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. Uh, best dating coach had the best friends. Your advice was natural and it worked out. Yes, indeed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Done. Somebody got, um, somebody just got themselves fix that shit, an audiobook. Um, so for those of you who want freebies, anybody who wants freebies, um, do go to the freebies button in the link tree in my bio. It's going to add you to the, my general mailing list. Once you add yourself to my general mailing list, it takes you to a page where you can download a book and some worksheets and the worksheets, I got some for singles and I got some for couples and they help you level up. It was really cute. Somebody came on my live the other day and said that they were currently working through my worksheets and like feeling better, which is really cute. I am writing more books. I'm writing a couple books for men. I'm gonna write a dating book and a relationship bleh, a dating book and a relationship book for men. My brain goes faster than my mouth, you guys. This is 
yeah I'm not gonna call myself out but I'm sure you guys notice that my brain goes faster than my mouth uh, my fiance is loud I just feel bad for her oh. I really need come back queen I'm married is it gonna benefit me um, Comeback Queen is getting over a breakup. Fix That Shit is helping a relationship. But you can read it anyway if you just want to. Comeback Queen was, so it so you'll find like my books have different twists in them, right? So one of the twists in Comeback Queen is uh, I do believe in fate. Um, you've seen, heard it all. It shaped you to be the lady you are today. I'm custom made, you guys. I am custom made. I am custom made. Like, I am custom made for this in so many ways. Um, I did flourish from my circumstances. Yes, I did. Uh, so, with the twist in Comeback Queen is the interviews. I we talked to a lot of women and got their questions. I did Q&A in Comeback Queen. And so, you'll find that the questions are in italics and then I answer them. I need a TED talk, yeah. Uh, any advice on being so jealous? So if your jealousy is interfering in your relationship, I have a program that you can take. It's the No More Insecurity program. Uh, so I really do help you understand how to not be jealous anymore. Books for more women, more books for women. I will be writing books for women, yes. Yes, I will. Uh, do you believe in certain crystals and things like that? I do, actually. Um, I do, I do. I do. Uh, there you go. I don't have to reach far to grab one. <laughs> Is my selenite right there. Uh, I, should, I, could, I should do tech talks for sociology and psychology classes, right? Uh, I don't disbelieve in horoscopes. I was confused as to why my husband and I were such a good fit because we're Scorpio and Gemini. We're rat and rat. And so like in so many ways, like it was just saying, ah, meh, you know, um, until I did my birth chart and it turns out my moon is in Gemini. I got lots of Geminis in my life. My mom's a Gemini. My ex-husband's a Gemini. My current husband's a Gemini. My oldest friend is a Gemini. Rat gang, all of us 72s. Uh, my sun is Gemini and my moon is Scorpio. That's why you love me. That's why you love me. Oh, we got people getting freebies. Go get your freebies. Can you teach me to get good girls? I don't know why. Weird girls are attracted to me. You can do what's in No More Assholes, my love. You can do what is in No More Assholes. I'm so impressed with this lady. I've been in every life for over two months. Amazing, incredible. I love you, Krista. Hello, Krista. Hello, Krista. Uh, she totally should do TED Talks, yes. Um, I'm going to be big one day. Who here thinks I'm going to be, like, big? How big do you think I'm going to be? Say big like. Big like. Hello, babes. Big like, I miss my narcissist ex. Is this trauma bond? Or I'm struggling to not reach out? No, it's the, it's your lizard brain. I was explaining this earlier today. So your lizard brain, your lizard brain is the part of your brain. You are big. You're already big. <laughs> no, I'm married. I'm married. Been with my man. I've been with my man for 15 years. We've been married for nine years. So big, big like Beyonce. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, big like the world. Big like one day you'll be too big to do lives. No, bigger than Jesus. Holy moly! <laughs> holy moly! Uh, lizard brain. Okay, so lizard brain is your caveman brain. This is the part of your brain that that you know is a throwback to your caveman days. It's still in there. Um, and so you still have throwbacks from caveman days because that evolution was just a, like a few hundred thousand years ago. That is early Homo sapien. Early Homo sapien lived in the jungle. No buildings, no cars, no cell phones, right? No lizard brain, not lizard brain. Lizard, lizard brain. Um, 
and so there this is there are parts of our brain that still function back there and it's still pulling those instincts but they're now currently getting in our way because we don't need that anymore um I was actually thinking of that today. I would love to see you and Jordan Peterson. I am the Jordan Peterson of dating. I was thinking, I was on my walk last night. I thought I'm the Jordan Peterson of dating because I'm controversial. Um, and I am the... Oh, what was the other one? I forget. Uh, controversial and what? Okay. Anyways, lizard brain. Lizard brain. Uh, can we read your books? Good. So informative, so correct. Thank you. Thank you. I really like all your vids. I appreciate that. So one of those throwbacks is the instinct that there is strength in numbers. The more of us there are banded together, um, the more we have a rich survival ability, right? If I go get nuts, you go get fish, you go kill a boar, you go get some root vegetables, you go pick some fruit, we all come together and exchange, share what we have, we have a richer diet, we have more food, there is, there's, there's more, right? And so it increases our chances of survival. And when somebody leaves the group, our lizard brain says, no, we got to keep our group, we need more numbers. This is why when you when you break up with somebody and they're pulling away, you're like, oh, this is why you get kind of panicky. Um, yes, you can clone me. This is why we get kind of panicky. This is why we don't like to let people go. It's the lizard part of our brain that says there is strength in numbers. So there's three parts of us, your biological body, your logical mind, your spiritual connections. Spiritual connections is when you think about somebody and a minute later you get a text message from them. This is so cute. You guys are all getting to know each other now. Um, and, uh, and so, um, when you, you know, that's, that's, that's your, that's your frequency. So your frequencies are crossing. We are walking cell phones, you guys. Um, and so your biological body is what panics at losing somebody. You can go up into your logical mind and say, wait a second, what's the best decision for me? Oh, I miss him. Oh yeah. Well, he said this, fuck you. Oh, I miss him. Oh yeah. Well, he did that. Fuck you. And that's using your logical mind to override your biological impulses. After consistently trying to see my girlfriend in person and her not wanting to, I stopped being loving. Yeah. If you're having problems in your relationship, you can get a coaching session or get fixed session and see if that'll help. Uh, so if you have a clone, do you think your clone would be like you? That's a, that's a good question. So just because somebody is identical, it's like identical twins, right? Identical twins are clones, right? Um, identical twins are clones because they are identical. Like if, if I have an identical twin and I go murder somebody, um, they might put my twin in jail because of the DNA. Uh, the difference will be the fingerprint, right? Or will they have identical fingerprints? I think they'll have different fingerprints, won't they? Can somebody tell me that? Do identical twins, identical twins, they don't have this, they have the same DNA, but they don't have the same fingerprint. Um, yeah, so she's saying it's your fault that for her acting distant, so that would, you would need to get a coaching session if you want me to understand that and actually give you some advice. Uh, so yeah, so I think even if I have a clone, um, we may still think differently. There, there's still going to be some differences in the way we think. Will they have all my knowledge, right? That's the question. Will they have all of my knowledge? They'd have to learn what I learn. They take twins' footprints at births because they're different. There you go. Can you break the cycle of an on and off relationship? Yeah, but you got to get fixed that shit, my love. The way that I broke it with my husband is the last time he broke up with me, I got over him. Because you do need, if you want to stop that cycle, you have to let go of what you were. You have to let go of how you were functioning. Nurture versus nurture. Yeah. You have to let go of how you were functioning. You literally have to let go of your past relationship. You have to let go of your partner. And you have to redefine something new because what that does is it says a no more. No more of that. 
No more the on and off, no more of the issues, no more what we are fighting about, no more what was tearing us apart. You have to let it go. It's my favorite crystal. This one right here. Um, ballpark costs of what? Is it of coaching? I have, I have different prices depending on what it is that you want. Um, so you do want to go check that out in the link tree in my bio. Um, oh, you have to like, woo, you know, I had to go fetch that. You have to let go. You have to let go of what isn't working. You do have to get over, right? The next time you go off, on and off, next time you go off, get over it. Get over them. Define your next relationship. Make a clear cut. I'm done. No more. You are no longer the man I want to be with. I'm sorry. If you want to be the man by my side, I redefined my next relationship. If I don't care who this is. I don't care who this is. I don't care what body this is. But I know what I want. I know what I need. If you want to be the man by my side, this is what I want. And you also need to level up. You can't be the same person. You have to redefine yourself. You have to refix that shit. You have to make a promise to yourself. I will no longer vomit into my relationship. I will no longer not have control over my own emotions. I will control my thoughts. I will deal with my shit. I will deal with myself. I will meditate. I will release the baggage inside of me. That's how you stop going on and off. I don't know. I did see some questions go by. Uh, with every penny specific answers cater to you honey bunny you know when you know you know when you know you know uh, I am a different person somewhat on, on coaching sessions right I know there's some people on here who've done coaching would you agree that there's a difference between my lives and a coaching session uh, dating after divorce use a no kissing for three months dating rule don't fall into a relationship don't don't make fear guide you into a relationship. Don't rush into a relationship. What does that crystal do? This one gives me good energy. This one feeds me good energy from the universe straight into me. When I meditate, it is in my palm facing towards me. So I let it give me good energy. Um, there's another one too. There's a black one that I use and I use it facing outward. I don't know what they're called because um, that doesn't matter to me. Um, like you guys see I always speak plain English uh, so hello so yeah this one gives me good energy and then my black one is like the release of negative energy that lip color yeah I know it I like it mama likes I need to meditate yes you do love your husband wants you to Right? Your husband wants you to. Uh, glowing as always. Thank you. Uh, on on it? No, not on it. It's a different one. Uh, what if you can't accept good men and keep trying to get back with bad men? Short-term thinkers, you got to read No More Assholes and do what is in that book. This is a manual. You must do what's in that book. Oh, guys, do you know what I see? Do you know what I see? Is that my Charlie? <laughs> Is that my Charlie? Charlie, you want to come cuddle mama? They are uniqueness and awe. What do you know about mediumship? I don't know anything. I, I, I don't know. Turning into a witch cult. Ooh la la. I love it. I'm the Jordan Peterson of dating because I'm controversial. Oh, I got it. Who likes Gary V? Who knows who Gary V is? Who knows? Finally ended. What? Finally ended my two year polyamorous relationship. I didn't have the confidence to leave. That's amazing. That's amazing, girl. Make sure you read No More Assholes. Make sure you define what you need. Clearly understand yourself. Hold out for what you want, my love. Use a no kissing for three months dating rule. Uh, do I think liars will always be liars? I think the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. 
So I think as long as they continue to lie, they will continue to lie. And then saying, I'm going to stop lying is meaningless. Meaningless. You've really helped me. I love your lives. Yay. I know Gary V. Yes, only one person, eh? Only one person knows who Gary V is. Uh, yeah, the bell. Aww. Yeah. Uh, so Gary V is like, he talks about business. He gives business advice. Super, very straight shooter. Swears a lot. Swears a lot. So I'm the Gary V of dating and relationship advice. I'm the Jordan Peterson of dating and relationship advice. I'm the Gary V because I'm very direct and I swear. I'm the Jordan Peterson because I am controversial in some of the things that I say. I'm in Ontario. In your podcast? What in my podcast? Everywhere. What in my podcast? What do you do if you love your spouse but you've become like roommates? You start making out twice a day. Start making out twice a day. And all of you people, I want you to remember this. Never stop making out twice a day. Minimum five seconds each. Don't get into, I love you both. Great energy, yes. Gary is awesome. Uh, never get so complacent that you, you're, you're treating your partner like a roommate. Make out twice a day. All of you guys, start making out with your partners twice a day. Minimum five seconds. If you don't know when, do it at the goodbye. Do it at the hello. Ordered your book. Comes in the mail Sunday. Ooh, I love it. Period. Yes. Meditating makes my body tingly. Is that normal? Yes, totally okay. Totally okay. Meditation is awesome. There are some amazing things that are going to start happening, my love. Stick with it. Stick with it. Oh, new world opens up. You're going to like it. Still thinking about the story she told us about Taylor. Aw, love, love, love. Is it? If you had to be a fruit, I don't know. I've never thought about that. It is irrelevant. If I had to be an animal, I think I would be something that flies. I think flying would be awesome. Flying would be amazing. My wife kisses me too much. And she needs a new husband. I'll try more. Yes, try more. She needs a new husband. She needs a husband who appreciates her kisses. Guys, who wants to see Charlie? Who wants to see Charlie? Just keeping it real. And he never said he didn't like it. <laughs> it's cute. I do. Okay, I'm going to grab Johnny. Please help. A guy cannot confirm or deny if he has anything to do with the mother of his kids. Why are you dating him? He gets to go. He gets to go. Hubby. He gets to go. He gets to go. Did you guys see that? Big sigh. Big sigh. It takes him like no time to just. Oh. Hello. Yes. Oh, I know. How's that? Is that better? Hi. Is that my good boy? He's so sleepy. He's, a, he's gonna be a year old in March. Yeah, you gonna come over here? The house is warm. He's too hot. 
Seriously, he is the cutest. I know, you guys. I know. Have you seen the show Lie to Me? Yes, it's awesome. It was awesome. I loved it. I learned so much. I really loved it. Uh, shows like Lie to Me, Dr. Phil, like, I study those, like, school. Like, seriously, like, I'll, they'll, they'll teach something and I'll be like, oh, shit. I'll rewind it. Um, I'll, I'll rewind it. I'll play it in slow motion, right? Like, Dr. Phil micro expressions um you know i'll i will rewind it and play it in slow motion to see the micro expression right uh can relationships start off by being strictly friends first before dating to learn the character yes honey yes 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 of course he is the cutest he yeah warm dog he's so warm <laughs> you guys, he's Superman's. It's so adorable. Oh my god, he's so funny. What are we talking about? All kinds of things. I'm not seeing a lot of these comments that you're referring to that we're talking about. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know why. He's a Westie Poo. Mama's a, Mama's a Westie, Daddy's a Poodle. Hello, hello. You remind me of Dr. Foster, beautiful, smart, and control. I will take it. I don't know what she looks like, but I'll take it. Uh, you once said to get better at receiving compliments, but how are you supposed to block thoughts? Um, it's, it's a fake it till you make it, right? Um, you just, it's what you show on the outside begins to create who you are on the inside. That's what fake it till you make it is. Um, so on the outside, it's just, it's thank you. That's it. Thank you. Even if on the inside, you're all tied up in knots. Boyfriend hasn't asked about V day. Should I ask or wait and watch? Well, guys, well, guys. I don't do Valentine's Day and I don't do Valentine's Day because I have the kind of man that A is completely opposed to it, completely opposed to it, but does so much for me on a daily basis that I'm okay. Valentine's Day is like, <clears throat> it's, it's like you're, you're not quite adequate the rest of the time, but you can make it up on my birthday and on Valentine's Day. Uh, that's, that's kind of, yeah, right? Um, so, oh, look at this. We got a, we got a guy. Goombay. I know. Goombay. Uh, so yeah. So I want you to choose somebody who does so much for you, is so good to you all the other days. It doesn't have to be every single day and it doesn't have to be like woo every single day but i mean like my husband eases my mind with the things that he does he takes care of certain things and i don't need to think about them so because of him my brain is a little bit more relaxed and i appreciate that so come birthdays and valentine's day and christmas my gift back to him is saying it's okay baby don't stress about these days because every single day of the year i don't stress about the things that he takes care of and so if you have the kind of partner that is good to you is generous with you is a long-term thinker is planning a life with you and they're not a birthdays kind of person they're not a valentine's day kind of person it's okay um don't don't take this day to create a vomit on somebody who is good to you. Any traits you can tell about a person that are generic red flags? Um, uh, somebody who's like, like, just flashy confident, right? Like, like, you know, the big watch, right? Like the look at me, um, the, the look at me to like, I don't want to be with a pretty boy. I do not want to be with a pretty boy. Um, because it's, it's, I, I want the kind of man who's like 
quiet confident who just who just owns his space and is comfortable within himself um i don't need the guy who's flashy you know who needs to make friends with everybody i that's that's not the you know uh, somebody who's a teaching seeking is somebody who's going to continue being attention seeking in your relationship did i say that right the first time you look amazing i thank you I love how you clearly take good care of yourself. Therefore, I trust your advice. You're able to give. Thank you. I do. You can think during meditation. Yes, I do give you guys four things to do with your mind during meditation. Uh, should I open my heart to a guy who lives in another country, but I feel a good connection? Why start a relationship with an obstacle? Starting a relationship that's long distance is starting with an obstacle so you're starting it with difficulty you know one thing that I say to people is is start a relationship with somebody who can take you out to dinner what would you do if you feel like your husband cheated but don't have solid proof um, and what admit you don't have what is there you what is there to admit if you don't have proof um, when you use the word admit, it's like I have proof, but you won't admit it. If you don't have proof, there's nothing to admit. Um, but if you want to work through this, then you can get a coaching session and we can, we can see if we can gain some clarity on it. I do believe in love languages. Love languages are relationship savers. Uh, give me a second, guys, because I do need to turn the heat down. I cranked it up to 77. I cranked it up to 77, no joke. Um, it's pretty warm. I got to turn it down. I'm going to put it back down to 75. 75 is like my daily. You know the great thing about being an adult is I get to have the house as warm as I want it. Thanks for the meditation tip. It's going well, a bit challenging today, yet good. You are welcome. You are welcome, my friend. Those between twin flames and karmic relationship, I do not know. Were you guys meeting the hey baby guy? Hey baby, hey baby. Goodbye. Uh, where were you six months ago when I started dating someone when <laughs> I was away? Uh, red flags to look for when dating online. Somebody who gets too familiar too fast. Somebody who's, yeah, too familiar too fast, right? Uh, what would you do if you feel like your husband cheated but don't have, yeah. Right, 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 we did that one. Okay, give me a second, guys. I'm going to turn the heat down. He follows me everywhere. All I did was leave the office to go down the hall and he had to know where I was going. Mama, I gotta follow you. Mama, I gotta follow you all the time. I really can't wait for the groomers to get started again though. He's, uh, Charlie needs a bath. He needs a bath and a haircut. What do you mean by too familiar too fast? So, um, you know, hey baby, right? Like, uh, he starts using pet names. Um, hello from Glasgow, using pet names, um, uh, you know, starts getting sexual too fast. And then you're like, no, I don't do that. Oh, okay, no, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, but now we know why you're here, right? We know why you're here. Uh, what's your perspective on the balance of love and business in a relationship? Hmm, that's a good question. Balance of love and business, uh, love and business. Well, I mean, obviously, you know, like there are practical things you do need to know, right? Like people say, um, you know, we're moving in, we're moving in together. What, what should we be doing? And I'm like, you need to sit down and you need to write down all the expenses and figure out who pays what, all the household chores and figure out who's doing what before you move in together. Don't start, don't move in and then start fighting about this stuff. 
Couples with opposite love languages, just because you don't speak the same language doesn't mean you can't translate. Guys, I went to Mexico City and made friends and then learned how to speak Spanish. You can learn to translate. My house is set at 60. So when I was younger, um, we had the house at 72. And then overnight, like when we were sleeping, we'd have it down to 69. And then it was my job to like get up a half hour before everybody else and put it up to 72. Um, and, um, but that was like chilly. And I did the 72 thing, 72, 69. I did that when I left home because I was like, well, that's what we do. And then, you know, like I'm making decent money and I'm, I think it was like, it's finally in this house where I said, fuck that man. Like I'm just, what's my comfort zone? Uh, 75. I like 75. 75 is nice. Look at, look at this. this is the dead of winter. It's like minus double digits in the 20s guys you want to know how cold it is tonight do you want to know how cold it is tonight uh vanessa tagged me in a post i gotta go see what that's about um yeah it feels like minus 17 that's why i did it 77 i was like it's a little colder like in the living room dining room kitchen area because like it's a bigger space than these smaller rooms so i was eating my supper in the dining room and i put it up to 77 because it felt it felt cold uh guys uh should i get a coaching session with just me or him if if you want to come sooner rather than later and his timing doesn't work out or he's resistant to coming then you can just come yourself my husband is never a fix that shit we have not had a fight in five years one person becomes the emotional leader the relationship can change and can't wait for that because parents have it so cold. Yes, I do keep my my house toasty. Gary Chapman wrote a book as well. Oh, the Gary Chapman, Gary Chapman, Gary Chapman. What was that about? Seat of the Soul, right? Yes. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. No babies on this live. No babies. No babies. Is this you, Luis? <clears throat> this weekend is Valentine's Day. Best day to find cheaters. What? What? Uh, what? Da -da -ba -ba. Oh, what are some things I can do to be a better girlfriend and let my boyfriend know he's amazing? Start with a love language quiz. Uh, start with a love language quiz. And... Um, Start with a love language quiz, and then you will better understand how to do things that he's actually really gonna appreciate. Uh, mm. Online dating scams, yeah. Online dating scams, uh, so It'll, it'll be somebody who's like so out of your league, but they're so in love with you. Oh my God, they fall fast. They fall fast. They're so in love with you. Um, um, but they're not in the same country, uh, so they can't come see you yet, but oh, you are so amazing. Um, and I wanna come see you, but ooh, Ooh, I gotta, I gotta get this money for my passport. I gotta renew my passport. And oh no, I just, I'm in the hospital right now, and I need some money. Um, ooh, I can't leave the country till I pay my hotel bill. Um, I need some money for that. So those are online dating scams. Can you have more than one love language? Yes, I have two. I have two. I have words of affirmation and physical affection. Both of them have the same score, which is a high score. Uh, what is meditation? It's basically you shrinking the part of your brain where stress, fear, and anxiety comes from. If you want to start doing that, there is a meditation resources button in the link tree in my bio. You can check that out. Opposites, yes. Uh, opposing touch love language must be the hardest one to overcome, yeah. Like if you are a physical touch person and you get into a relationship with somebody who scores really low on physical affection, 
Um, it's it's so hard, you guys. Super, super hard. Super hard. Guys, who wants your notification when I go live? Say, I do. Oh, love language is also Gary Chapman. Yes. I'm thinking of someone else then. Avoiding that day. Who wants your notification when I go live? Oh, someone got in trouble. Someone got in trouble. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 da. Nah, I do. Okay, so for those of you who want a notification when I go live, what you're going to do is press my picture once or twice. Um, you're going to get a pop-up. There's a bell in the pop-up. Click on the bell. Make sure in your settings as well you have notifications turned on. You can fine-tune it so you don't get spammed. Your opinion on flowers tends to come with questions of what you did even from the vendor. I have no opinion on flowers. Oh, I love this. Oh, I, I'm going to ring this bell because you avoided. I'm going to ring this bell because you avoided me needing to ring the bell over your breakup. Uh, let me read this. I just got told I was childish because of the three month no kissing rule. I said, okay, bye boy. I love you, girl. That's so awesome. I love you. That's so amazing. So amazing. What besides meditation shrinks the amygdala? Um, uh, just being really mindful, like being super mindful of your emotions, not suppressing your emotions, but letting them happen, but not letting them override your brain and override your thoughts. The more you keep your thoughts from spinning, the more your brain calms down. I love that. Good girl. Good girl. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Hello, love. I'll check it out. Heard their shares went up in value. Who? Who sh what? Let's go to Hawaii. I'm in. How many? What? I don't know what that question is, but it just sounds weird. So, goodbye. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. How to find the music on YouTube? sounds like relaxing yes so I have a YouTube channel there's a link to that in the link tree in my bio there's a meditation or there's a let's meditate playlist in my YouTube channel so you will find this tune in there this is the chakra balancing one by Rich Pendlebury what do you and your hubby do for quality time with each other so um uh every night when he comes home I make him his salsa guacamole uh, and, um, you know, I, I kind of, he, I, I get really caught up in this. And so he'll come home and I'll make a sauce of guacamole and then I'll wash my face and brush my teeth. And then I'll grab my floss and I'll go sit beside him when I floss my teeth. By then he's usually done eating. And so while I'm flossing, he'll like rub my back, which I really love. Um, and then I'll put the dogs out one last time and then we cuddle up and we fall asleep together cuddling up on the couch on well it's not a couch it's a day bed i i literally put a bed in the living room you guys i just had a crazy idea what if she collected data on the number of girls who use her method interesting does listening to affirmations while you sleep go into your subconscious and change your outlook? Yes, it can. Eventually translated into research. I like how you think. Yes, if they're not interested in getting to know the real you, then goodbye, boy. We say goodbye. You gots to go. Yes, indeed. You gots to go. I want to know what shares are going up. What are you talking? What are you talking about? Shares are going up. I am playing in the stock market. You guys, I love it. I love it. 
five years in a relationship, what to do when a partner seems to be putting in more effort than the other. You've got fix that shit. <clears throat> Are you with a generous long-term thinker who loves you? If the answer is yes, get fix that shit. Do you think couples should always live together before marriage? I do believe in test driving. I believe in test driving. Bed in living room. That's right. That's right, you guys. Oh, it's so good. Because here's the problem. At night, when we're winding down, we like to spoon on the couch, but couches are not spoon. Couches are not spoon size. So I was like, screw this. I'm putting a bed in the living room. So I got a day bed. So it's it, it's kind of funky looking, right? Um, Cause you know, like it has sides and it has like a back and it's it's not like a bed and it's like sideways basically. It's uh, it's like double size. It's not, it's bigger than a twin, but smaller than a queen. How do you ask for more communication? This is a question to be answered through doing what is in fix that shit because you cannot demand you need to show. But um, you know, like you, you want to create emotional security in a relationship because it's not about the quality, it's about, or not about the quantity, it's about the quality. So you actually want to increase the quality of your communication, but in order to do that, you need to create emotional security. Um, your partner needs to be comfortable. You can't just say, I need you to communicate more. Your, your, your partner needs to be comfortable. That's sexy. Um, so you do need to get fixed that shit or get a coaching session in order to increase the feeling of emotional security in your relationship. Do, 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 do. ASD? What's ASD? I did, oh. Tell me more. Uh, guys, do make sure you're heading over to my Instagram page because I am doing a giveaway for a coaching session and we're doing the draw soon. Definitely, you're small enough to spoon on a couch, girlfriend. You must be tiny. My parents sleep in a day bed. Their old bed was a queen. They've been 32 years and are soulmates. That is the best. Uh, a few months ago, I took your advice and asked him to be official. Just hit four months. We are so in love. I love you. I'm so proud of you. I love you. I'm so proud of you. It's a David too. That's super cute. Super cute. That's really cute, you guys. You guys are very cute tonight. He started with cuddling and now it's their bed. You guys are so cute. That was very thorough. Interesting. I love the amount of knowledge you have towards this. Thank you. I am custom made. <sighs> he removed our relationship status on Facebook. I asked why and he said he didn't like it. It's, well, then you say, what didn't you like about it? What didn't you like? What didn't you like about professing? Say, okay, well, that's interesting. Um, that's interesting. So, uh, just so you know, I really want to be in a relationship with the kind of man who practices the three P's, protect, profess, provide. And I feel like you just took away some element of profess and, and I'm, I'm kind of wondering, did we just take a leg off a three legged stool? Do, 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 do. Sorry, that was wrong. I just. Hi. Oh, oh. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh, Amazon shipping confirmation, drone delivery, FLT. 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 dot v stock okay drone delivery canada corp i hope she comes back i blocked her by accident i thought she was spamming um so this is interesting guys i actually um 
uh, I did it. I invested in. I invested in Dragonfly. Dragonfly. So Dragonfly, you guys. If you're looking at stocks, we're gonna get a little bit off topic here. But if you guys are looking at talks stocks, so. Um, animal rights. Oh, baby girl, I hope she comes back. I'm so sorry. Um, so she's talking about a stock that is, um, uh, that's a drone delivery stock, a uh, drone delivery one. Uh, Dragonfly is also a drone delivery one. Drone deliveries are going to be like major, right? So, um, so she's talking about FLT. Um, I invested in Dragonfly. And this is what drone deliveries are doing right now. This is, this is before, this is now. So um, I do suggest Dragonfly. They just got FAA certification. Um, they're cleaning like stadiums. So you know how with COVID we need to like disinfect anything. So uh, Dragonfly is going to be disinfecting stadiums with drones. And they are at Dragonfly is oh it's oh oh it's at three something now. Okay so. Hmm. I would look into this. I like to buy stocks that are cheaper though. I really like to get stocks that are like literally pennies and just watch that shit grow. I love your advice. Thank you. Good merch. A sweatshirt. What would Chantal say on one side? Dump the motherfucker. Oh, this is a good idea. I love it. This live has been my favorite so far. Yay. Not to discredit the other one. she back I asked what he didn't like and he just kept saying he just doesn't like it I don't know what to do so I would say do a session with me love let's let's gain some clarity on this uh, let's gain some clarity on this where did you get those posters these are my book these are my these are my these are my books there's no more assholes Let's fix that shit. These are my books. <clears throat> I got blocked. I'm sorry. I didn't read the whole thing before I pressed block. I thought you were some person who was like advertising something. Um, yes. So animal rights, my love. Animal rights. Um, I invested in Dragonfly too, if you're into that. If you're into that. I don't know what, what HSV2 is. I don't know what that is. Uh, so you've been talking for two months. You should be doing a no kissing for three months dating rule. So does talking mean you've been having sex and kissing for two months? That's, you're probably more committed to him than he is to you. Um, but guys, Valentine's Day is a day on the calendar. It is. It is not the day to you know it's not an atonement day like oh well you're kind of so but you know what if you do something good on this day you get brownie points screw that people should get brownie points because they are good throughout the year it shouldn't be they get an increase in brownie points because they did something on one or two days a year it's smarter to go smaller in stocks because you're not losing so much it's almost like a trail so um like you do want to be diversified right so i'm invested in drone technology i'm invested i got me a man yes i did yeah i'm sorry i realized it after and i went i went right back in and i brought you back um so i'm invested in drone technology i'm invested in mind medicine mmed this is a stock that is uh, dabbling in psychedelics um, which is going to be like the next evolution of medicine, just like cannabis was the last evolution of medicine. Psychedelics are the next evolution of medicine. Uh, what else am I invested in? Um, oh, I'm invested in a couple stocks that have to do with COVID. So CBDT, um, that is a saliva testing. 
Um, and Loop Insight is going to be the artificial intelligence. So we are all, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're all basically going to have to have a COVID passport at some point. Um, you and I are on the same page when it comes to investing. Love it. Um, yeah, so Loop Insight, this is, this is a COVID, this, it's going to be the artificial intelligence that gets you into concerts, gets you into football games, uh, you know, gets you into your raves, um, because they're going to, gets you on your flight, right? Like you need, you need to have your vaccine. So show us your, show us your passport. Um, that kind of thing. Uh, how to know if she's actually trying to heal during the break or if it's just an excuse? I don't know, my love. I'd have to dig deeper into that. Where did you find this research for the stocks? Um, so I first I got into Loop Insight and then I was I went to like Stock House. Stock House is like a forum where people talk about stocks they're investing in. And I got the stock tip for CBDT because people who bought Loop Insight bought CBDT, which is Empower. Um, now, Loop Insight is, is like they're working together. CBDT is working with Loop Insight. So Loop Insight is the artificial intelligence. CBDT is the testing people are going to take that's going to be feeding into the artificial intelligence. Um, so then I was like, damn, Stockhouse is like super fun. So then I just kept going into Stockhouse and looking at people talking about stocks and what they were investing in. I got into Spearmint. Um, I don't even know what the hell they do. Um, but I was just getting stock tips and I would buy them and I would buy like super cheap penny stocks and, and just they're on their way up, right? So I get in on like 0.05 cents and boop, 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 up it goes. Um, I, I got in at Spearmint at 9 cents. I sold, I sold at, at 9.95, like, 9, 9, like 0.095. Made four hundred dollars. Okay, boop boop boop. I go look again. It's at twenty three cents. Fuck. I bought in again. Um, so Spearmint, um, S P M T. Uh, Spearmint is now. Oh oh, it's at twenty one now. Um, I, oh no, I bought back in at twenty cents. It's now at twenty one, but it has gone as high up as like twenty seven cents. So Spearmint is another one. Like if you look at the jump. It's on its way up. Um, so yeah, Magic Mushroom. Yeah, I just invested in a Magic Mushroom one recently. M-Y, M-Y something, M-Y-C-T or something like that. What's the Magic Mushroom one? But yeah, there's a Magic Mushroom one that's also um, like super cheap, but on its way up as well. Thank you, my love. Uh, how much should you spend on your first stock? Uh, first of all, make sure you do it in your RSP. Like start in there and start maxing out your RSP. Um, you know, just be careful, right? And diversify. Um, <clears throat> you shouldn't spend more than, it's a gamble. It's always a gamble. So don't spend more than you're willing to lose. We want to get married. He wants to save for a big ring. I'd rather elope and cheap ring. Um, so y'all are gonna do some negotiation, right? He doesn't want, say, um, he wants to save her for a big ring. Uh, so tell him, baby, let's get a cubic zirconia. No one is gonna know. No one is, guys, I shit you not. Do you know what I was thinking? Like a couple weeks ago? Because, you know, listen, I love buying stocks. I'm making money, right? So I'm like, damn, I want to pour more money into this. I literally thought about going to my jeweler. Like I've had this, I had this ring custom made. I picked up my diamond, but you know, I meditate now. Like stuff doesn't matter to me anymore. Um, I really, I, I have seriously thought about going to my jeweler and, um, and saying, can we replace this with like, you know, a cubic zirconia or something? And like, give me, you know, give me the balance. And I just want to put that into stocks and I just want to grow that money. It seems like such a waste to have so much money in this when I can take that money and multiply it. Seriously, like that literally went through my mind. What do you guys think about that? What, 
I would compare stocks to gambling because you just never know, right? Um, when do you guys think about that? When do you guys think about what I just said? tax-free savings account yeah I'm now putting money into my tax-free savings account because I maxed out my RSP totally agree of course I support black lives matter very logical to me <laughs> right I and I wouldn't tell my husband because he wouldn't know right he wouldn't he wouldn't know he wouldn't know he wouldn't even know he wouldn't even know I'd rather save for our real estate investment than him dress about a ring. I know it just makes so much, it makes more sense to me. Uh, do it. I would feel the same way. Yeah, it's a good idea. Because if you don't value the gem, why not? Uh -huh. He would never know. Ooh, I don't know if I wouldn't tell my partner. He, I, you know what, he, he wouldn't, I'm going to call him. Do you guys want me to call him and, and, and say, what do you think about this? He changed his mind about the wedding. Now he doesn't want to get married because he's shy. What? Uh, my wife, because we got into a fight. She went and pawned the ring. No. Should I call my husband and say, what do you think about this? He probably, I don't think he would mind. I don't think he would mind. Yes, call him. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna call hubby. I'm gonna call hubby. Let's turn the music down. Oh, wow, it's 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. I just wanna fix that shit, yes. It comes on bad. That's super cute. Baby love. Yeah. Um, oh shit, let me call you back. It's a bad connection, okay? Okay. And we're back. And we're back. Uh, good, better. Okay, baby. What would you think if I went to the jeweler that made my ring and I had them put in a cubic zirconia and then gave me the balance for the diamond because they'll buy back the diamond and I took that money and invested it in stocks. Would you be okay with that? Yep. I love you. I love you. <laughs> okay, baby. Carry on. Okay. I love, bye. Till so there you have it. I know my man. I do. I know my man. That's my man. Oh, <laughs> you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, you two are too cute. Yeah. I love my man. Aw. Well, that was so cute. My head, my heart hurts. <laughs> you guys. You guys. He loves you so much. He's so chill. Yeah, he is. I did. I got myself... He's, he's patient, he's calm, um, yeah, uh, such an inspiration. Uh, can we see a picture of you guys? I'm not allowed to show his face. I'm not allowed to show his face. But if you go to the, if you go to my YouTube channel, just join, what did I miss? We just called my husband. Uh, go to my YouTube channel go to the the playlist that's like you know it says like my lives or something and the ones that my husband shows up in it says in the the thumbnail my my hubby is in this one um so go check those out you're gonna see you're gonna he actually sits with me and does lives with me sometimes and so i i did take those and put them online for you so that you guys can see him and hear him um he's super he's super wise right he's He's very calm, he's very wise, excited to have what you have. This is why I show you, if you can conceive it, 
you can achieve it. So I show you so you can have it. I want you to understand men like this exist. And now that you understand that they do exist and what they sound like, how they are, right? Then you know what to choose for yourself. <clears throat> I, I really, I want you guys to have this. My boyfriend isn't very responsive via phone, text, call. Does that matter? Um, you know, does does it matter to you? Is he responsive otherwise? Is, you know, um, does he spend time with you other than behind closed doors in a bedroom? Uh, I like to be one of these men. Level up, my friend. Do it. Do it. Very hardworking, very sacrificing. Did you ever have a point in your marriage where you two needed a break? Yes. Uh, so we broke up a few times. And then I also did go to Florida for three months. I needed space. He didn't want me to go. He was he was upset that I was going because it was going to make his life more difficult. And I said to him, I have to go. If I don't go, we are getting in a divorce because this, what's happening is... I, like literally I was dying you guys like it was just so stressful I was so depressed it was it was really bad um so I did go to Florida for three months um we did not break up we were still together but I just needed some space did your man want to get married in the first place nope uh I didn't want to get married in the first place I was when when we got together I was divorcing my ex-husband um, and uh, I said to him, I don't want to get married again. Like I already did the wedding thing. I did not like planning a wedding. I did not like planning a wedding. I said, I don't want to get married again. You know, I don't need a piece of paper. I don't need a legality, but I want symbolism. I want rings. I want us to call each other husband and wife. I want us to live together. Um, we, we communicated, yeah, we have regular communication for sure. No, we have regular regular communication like almost daily. Um, and so, you know, I, I and I said, I, I want that like a two years, right? Well, we got to two years, but we've been fighting so much. It didn't make sense really to do that. Um, does, is fixer should ideal for someone who's single with anger issues? It really does help you learn, like learn how to control your emotions. Uh, so... It, two years go by, three years go by, four years go by, five and a half years go by. We we just, we didn't get to a point where that happened, the symbolism happened, because we didn't get to a point where we felt good enough. And then we broke up, and we broke up for like a third or fourth time or something, and I was just like, done. And I got over him, and I defined my next relationship, and then he wanted to get back with me, and I said no. Um, no, because you know what, I've defined my next relationship and, and, and things have changed. I've changed and what I want has changed. And one of the things that I want, I did mentor myself. Uh, when uh, Guys, I did it first before I'm teaching you how to do it, right? I'm not telling you what to do, I'm leading the way. So I, I he's like, well, what is it that you want? And so I, I told him what it was that I wanted in a partner and one of those things was marriage. And I said, I want, and I wanna get married. And, uh, and you don't want to get married and that's fine. That's, I'm not, you know, this, like there's, there's so many things like I'm, I've, I've said goodbye to this and, and there's things that I just, that you bring with you that I just don't want anymore. Um, so he, do you, oh, I don't have a mentor. No, I don't. Oh, that's okay. No, I don't. Um, so then he, uh, you know, he, he said, I want to do the symbolism. And I said, no. So then he said, okay, I want to marry you. Right. So it, it, those, there were two separate conversations. Um, I had cut him off and said, I don't want you to text me or call me anymore because I get anxious when my phone set, does a notification because I think it might be you. So you need to stop contacting me because you are creating anxiety just thinking you're contacting me i'm getting anxious you need to leave me alone so he did stop contacting me i did say to him if there's anything you want to say to me write it down i may read it one day that's literally what i said you can write it down i might read it one day i left it at that he showed up with like pages of journaling that he'd done over the last few weeks he said can i read this to you i said okay he read it to me it ended with 
you know, I, I want, I want to, you know, I want us to call each other husband and wife. I want to buy you a ring. I want to live with you. And I said, no, because I wanted to get married. I didn't want this symbolism anymore. Um, and then I said, you have to go. And I sent him on his way. And then uh, he called me and he said, can I take you to dinner one last time? And I said, okay. And the whole time he was, he talked and he said, I want to marry you. And I said, and all the other stuff too, all the other stuff that I wanted, all the other stuff that I wanted. Like there was, there was things that had changed for me and I had a new standard. And I said, and this stuff too? And he said, yes. And then I said, how much would you spend on an engagement ring? <laughs> I had a number in my head. I had a number because a friend of mine had just gotten engaged and it was, it was like two, I said, okay to the dinner because, um, you know, I, 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 he's, he's a good man and I wanted him to have closure, right? So if he needed the closure, I was going to give him the closure. Uh, so my, I had two friends that had just gotten engaged and he had told me how much he paid for the wedding ring or the engagement ring. And so, you know, it was $5,000. I thought that's a reasonable price for an engagement ring. Um, and, uh, so I asked him, I said, how much would you pay for an engagement ring? And he said, is $5,000 enough? And I said, yeah. Um, I, end, I it actually ended up being six. I put the extra thousand on because I really was specific in what it was that I wanted in a ring. So I put the extra thousand on it to get what it was that I wanted. Um, but so I said, I need to think about it. And I have three of your books in my Amazon card. That's awesome. So I still wasn't, that was that I wasn't at a yes yet, right? I was not at a yes because I hadn't seen the change. Great that you're telling me that you want to be everything that I want, but I hadn't seen it yet. So I wasn't at a yes. So I said, I need to think about this some more. And he said, okay, can we go back to your house and talk? And I said, okay, um, but I want to walk Maggie first. He said, can I send you all the messages that I, like all the text messages and the emails that I wrote, but I didn't send you? Because remember I said, you know, if there's something you want to say, write it down. I might read it one day. And I said, okay, so I take Maggie for a walk. My phone is blowing up, all these messages coming up, right? Um, I, I am gonna write an autobiography, I am actually. And so, so my phone is blowing up. I get back to the house, he says, can my brother come over? Because he's going through a breakup right now, he's super distraught and he wants to come talk to me. And I said, no problem, his brother comes over and he's talking to his brother and he's teaching his brother what he needs to know. And I went, like the biggest, here, the biggest lesson is we teach what we most need to learn, right? We teach what we most need to learn. And I saw him teaching what he needed to learn. And I went, okay, this is, this is the sign. And I knew I had three options. I could, I could say no. I could say, prove it to me some more, take some time, prove it to me some more. And the third one that felt the most right, that resonated was this, the voice, capital T, capital V said in my head, he is now where you want him to be. And I went, fuck, you're right. So I took him. And we got engaged that day and I got the ring made and I brought it home and I gave it to him and I said, okay, I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to wait for him to try and plan something. I knew that wasn't his strength at all. So I just, I just, he came home from work. I, I got it from my dresser drawer. I said, the ring is here, do it. So he got down on the knee and, and he said, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, yes, and we put the ring on. And <clears throat> this was like September, October. And we got married in January. It was a leap of faith, you guys. It was a leap of faith. It was a leap of faith. We still fought for two years. We almost got divorced because we still fought. And then I started doing with some fix that shit. And here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I don't know what this is. 
What are these emojis? Why do I want to what with you? What is this? Use your words. What is this? Why do I want to what with you? Uh, what advice did he give his brother? It was about love. I forget what it was, but it was about love. It was such a great love advice. Um, and then he gave his brother a 20 second hug and I was like, oh, like he gets it. He gets it. He's so vulnerable. He's so raw. He's so vulnerable. He's, he's so, he's so learning right now. And I want to reward this. He deserves to be rewarded for understanding so much. And so here we are. Actions speak louder than words, 100%. Uh, he is a great man. He really is. He sounds like a great man, 100%, yes. Well, he really did all that he could to get you back. He absolutely did. He absolutely did. This is the best love story, yes. Can't wait to read it, yes. I have the title, you guys. I already have the title for my autobiography. Oh my God. Hey, from Atlanta. I love listening to your stories, yay. Lots of stories tonight. I need. I should put this live up on YouTube. I think somebody said this was like the the best live, the most fun they've had on my lives. How many hearts have you broken? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Uh, could things work if the man has asked for a break several times in five years? It can, but you gotta get fixed that shit, my love. You gotta get, and you gotta get no more assholes. You gotta know if he's a selfish short term thinker. You gotta know, you gotta know. You gotta know. Knowledge is power. Greetings, what province are you in? On Dario. On Dario. How long have you been married? So we've been married for nine years. We just had our ninth wedding anniversary in January, but we've been together for 15 years and he was orbiting me for two and a half years before that. I struggle with communicating my wants and needs, get into fix that shit. It is the place to start for communication. I love vulnerable and raw, me too. Has your husband thought of mentoring? He loves teaching, he really does. He loves teaching. He spoke to your soul 100%. He is my soulmate. He is my soulmate. How do you get over a cheating past with your partner? You've got to dive in to fix that shit. It helps heal your emotions, your mind, your thoughts. It calms you down, you guys. Hmm. Vulnerable is good. This is the best live. <laughs> a lot. Too cute. Yes. Uh, what? Uh, I'm going to start heading out, my loves. Um, who wants a notification when I go live, you guys? Who wants to know when I go live again? I'm going to be doing more. I'm going to be doing more mini lives during the day. I'm going to be um, popping on doing lives um, between uh, nine to five in the daytime now in between coaching sessions. Um, I just got here. You're so cute. Uh, for those of you who want a notification when I go live, press my little picture here. There's going to be, you can press it once or twice. You're going to get a pop-up in the bottom. There's a bell in the pop-up. Click on the bell when you do that. See, I just did. Um, I'm going to tell you guys how to get some freebies. I got free stuff for you. I got free stuff for you. Somebody said they tagged me in an Instagram post and I need to know. I need to know. Inquiring minds and want to know who tagged me in an Instagram post. I don't know. I can't find it. Oh, yeah, that would be my friend Deidre. Deidre, heart eyes, Deidre. Pa Deidre, she's she's a, a friend of mine, known her for years. Oh, powerful things, powerful things happen when you start putting in the work to achieve your goals. You become addicted to the progress and fall in love with the process. So she is somebody who I've taught quite a, a bit of things to. Okay, my loves. Um, so guys, there's a giveaway right now on my Instagram page for a coaching session. It's still happening. You're not too late to sign up for it. We're going to be doing the draw soon. So go join me on Instagram. Uh, let's see how many guys are popping on here. Yes, lots of people coming on my Instagram page. So there it is right there. Giveaway time. 
giveaway time. I do this every single month. Uh, also, every post, there's a daily post. You guys are going to love the daily posts. Um, freebies. You get a book and you get worksheets. I got worksheets for singles, worksheets for couples. You can find those in the link to my bio. It signs out to my general mailing list. That way you never lose me. If I have to move over to another platform, I can let you know where to find me. So if you guys want to take part in that, go hit the freebies button in the link to my bio. Also, while you're there, go, go check out the meditation resources button. For those of you who want to start meditating, meditation is key to having this this goodness, this peacefulness, this amazing relationship, it starts with meditation. Um, eat, sleep, poop, meditate. Uh, me and my friend are going to work on our freebies together. I love this. I love this a lot. This is super awesome. Uh, Fix That Shit is now an audiobook. If you like my voice, if you like my advice, if you want to learn how to relationship in a super awesome way, graphic session and audiobook you get that through the link tree in my bio not audible you get it through me audible wants to be my pimp i say no motherfucker you don't take my money um bedtime meditation need to do more throughout the day yes 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 don't fall asleep during meditation thank you so much you're so welcome finding you has shown me that i deserve real love yes you can and you can get it 100 percent hundred percent. Um, for those of you who want a one-on-one coaching session, if you are wondering, should I stay with him? How can I fix my relationship? How can I get into a relationship? Anything. I'm a life coach. I niche on dating and relationships. Whatever is bugging your brain, get yourself a coaching session. I create clarity. So if you guys want to get clear about something, come get a coaching session. So go to my bio, click on the link tree, click the one-on-one -on -one button. It takes you to a page. You're going to follow the instructions and book yourself in for a session. If any of y'all want to be mutuals, let me know. I love making friends from these lies. We got good people here. We got good people. I love my people. I love you guys. You guys, oh, oh, speaking of love, anybody wants to love me back, please leave a review on Amazon for any of my books that you've read. If you don't want to write words, just put stars. I really appreciate it, you guys. It fills my love bank like you wouldn't believe. My love language is words of affirmation. Even if you just do stars, that's it fills me. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. If you haven't read any of my books, but um, you like my lives, you like my TikToks, go leave a Google review. Um, love those Google reviews. Again, if you don't want to leave words, that's okay. Just leave stars. Uh, just take this name here, Canada's Dating Coach, all together, no spaces. Put that into Google and then add Google reviews. Click enter and it takes you to a page. Um, it takes you to a page where you can leave a Google review. I love, love, love this. I go look for these every day. So I really love seeing your reviews pop up, you guys. Mwah. I love you so, so much. I'll be back soon. I'll be back tomorrow. You know I will. You know I will. We have so much fun, you guys. I'm going to take this. I'm going to put this up on YouTube. It's way too fun. I left a review on Amazon under Fix That Shit. Username Susan. I saw it. Susan. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you guys. Yes. So much love. So much love. Guys, um, if you haven't read our books, go leave a Google review. Yes, my love. Thank you for saying that. Thank you. You guys are super, super, super sweet. I love what we have. I really do. I really feel like we are creating a revolution. So much goodness. We're, we're, we're just creating so much change. And like it's, ah, it's so good. Anyways, I love you guys. Make sure you sleep well. Super important. Make sure you meditate. 